Okay, so in this tutorial I will be showing you how you can make this text. And first of all, if you want to open up your Cinema 4D, Lightroom, whatever you got, I'm just using mine right now. If you don't get it but want it, you can check it out. Link is in the description below. As well as my Ultimate Text Pack, which covers like, way more text PSDs. So you can just copy and paste them to your own text. Yeah. So once you're in here, you want to enter any name, then press right, uh, left click here, then press C on your keyboard, then open up all the layers, and then you can like, mess around with the settings here and customize the angles so it looks like custom made, just like in the picture you saw here. I'm just going to Render it like this. The fuck is this? Uh, render to picture viewer. And then wait a little bit until it's rendered. Once your text is rendered, you go to File, Save As, OK. And then wherever you want to save the file. And then you go to each layer and go in movement and put the zigzag to zero. My bad, zero. Okay. And you have to do this for every layer, uh, letter. So, kind of sucks. But, anyways, just everything on zero. And then render again. Now, once it's rendered, again, file, save as, OK. And then select wherever you want to save the file. Now we can close it. And yeah, I'm just going to create a new file for the tutorial. So find wherever you saved your text. Give me one sec. OK, so I just saw that I still got the same text file I used in the original image, so I'm just going to use this right now. There you go. Okay. So once you imported it, just name the 2D layer 2D, the 3D layer 3D, and then put both into a group, name the group text or basically whatever, duplicate with Control and J, and then just hide one layer in case you miss, uh, mess something up. Okay. So just put it in the middle so you can clearly see everything. Now I'll show you how it looks like before final effects. And now we can break down every layer. Starting from the bottom. Okay. So first of all you need to make outlines. So in this case, I started with this 3D outline with bevel embers settings. You can copy the settings right here. Just make sure to pause the video. I'm just going to press right click, copy layer style, and then go into my file and enter uh, layer style. So for this one, as you can see, it's just the outline, right? So you want to make sure to create an outline first. For this, you press on fill and move it to 21. Uh, actually, my bad, to zero. Then right click, blending option. And now you can put a stroke there. Just copy my settings right here. Press OK. And then since the fill is on zero, you don't see the actual image like it was before, just whatever effect you put onto it. So now just press right click, rasterize layer style. Now we only got the outlines right here. So again, right click, then convert to smart object so you can actually save whatever effects are put onto there. Then right click, paste layer style. This is just in my case. 
if you don't get a PSD, you can just copy the settings I just showed you right here. And then, yeah, you can already see it looks kind of good. So on to the next step, which is just a darker version of the original layer. So again, I'll show you the settings right here. This is what I used. And again, I will be copy and pasted because I got the PSD. So dragging onto there. Then to the okay, sorry. Now to the next step. I put on fill uh, filter zero. You can see why I just used the 2D layer and put the fill on zero so you guys will do the same. I press copy layer style. You go to two D layer, duplicate it, and then apply these settings. I will go uh, there. Just apply the same settings. Pause the video and apply the same settings. I'm going to paste the layer style. There you go. And now just one last step before the finals which is right here. It's the same effect I already used on this real layer right there, the outlines. So I can show you the settings again. Pause the video. I'm copying the layer style. So again, fill to zero. Then blending options, outlines with stroke. Uh, let's put it to four. Then rasterize layer style, and then I'll paste the layer style, you apply it yourself, and there you go. This is what the text looks like before the final effects. So, just going to merge the group, and now I can show you guys how the finals looks. Okay, so to remove the unnecessary steps. This is what we start with. Then the first effect is just the chrome effect and filter gallery. So you go to filter gallery, filter, filter gallery, and there is the chrome settings. You can play around with these settings right here until you're satisfied. And yeah, this is the effect I used for the first one. Just mess around with the settings right here. For example, color dodge, and then maybe a little bit of subtract, uh, subtract. Then normal, a little bit less. You see where I'm going with this one. Okay, so after this, I duplicated the layer again. So. The outlines right here will look better. Then I put an overlay with a really dark effect on it. So yeah. Next up I used on the rig element three times. If you don't know what it is, it's just a plugin. Uh, yeah. Basically just a plugin for files. You can also look uh, use magic bullet looks if you don't got on a rig. And yeah, that's how I made this transition right here. And then I just added some brushes for the background place, basically. And yeah, that's it. But keep in mind, guys, that the finals are like not for the text, but actually for the whole header. So if I would use the text on a header, I'd just paste it in like this. And then the final effects would be part of the whole header and not just the text. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, if you did please leave me a like and comment down what I could do as the next video, maybe I can make a little bit of final tutorial, yeah, if you want to grab the PSD for yourself, then just get yourself the ultimate text pack and DM me on any platform and I make sure to send you this PSD right here for free, that's it, I will have a nice day, see ya, bye bye. Oh, and actually I forgot to mention, 
Um, trying to be more active from now on. I just started university, so I don't get really much time um, working and I get university, so YouTube is not my main priority right now. But I try to upload at least two times a week from now on. So yeah, just a little disclaimer.